Hello everyone, this is Shin Godzilla 2007, and today I'm going to be making a review on Marvel Studios' Avengers Endgame. And I know I haven't done a review on like an Avengers movie before, or even a Marvel movie, but I thought this movie was really good. And you guys probably didn't know this, but I actually do like Marvel. And this will be a spoiler review, and I'll tell you why. Like I, I mean, I would have done a no spoiler review, but <clears throat> seeing how much money it made, because it made over a billion dollars for its debut, um, I would say that most people watching this have probably seen it already. So, <clears throat> even if, so like, I don't, I don't really see the point in doing a non-spoiler one. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, I thought this movie was really good, and I guess I'll start off with the cons. Um, because that's what I usually start off with when I do one of these. So, um, my first, and this may be my only con, but the first one I can think of anyway, is that it was way too easy to kill Thanos at the beginning of the movie. Because all Thor did was chop his head off and like um that just seems way too easy and I I know he didn't have the infinity stones but I think isn't he still supposed to be one of the most powerful beings I thought like I don't know someone told me that but um yeah I think that was um oh I think I can think of another one um I didn't really like the Captain Marvel character because she seemed way too confident in herself and she seemed like she was um, trying to make herself seem like the best out of all of them because they, cause when they said we couldn't kill Thanos before she was just like you didn't have me and I don't know I just didn't really like that but yeah so that was my um only two cons and now for some of the pros so um the plot was good like I liked the idea of so you know in the movie when Thanos said that he used the stones to destroy the stones and then they had to go back and they got the stones and I, and somehow I didn't see that the movie was leading up to this, but I did like the idea of it. And I'll show you a picture of it right here. It's that Iron Man actually made his own Infinity Gauntlet. And I thought that was pretty cool. And apparently, like this picture, I think you can actually buy one of these. And I, I don't know if you can, but you know, it shows the height of it. So it looks like you can buy one. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool idea that Iron Man can make his own. And also, um, I don't think this was mentioned in Avengers Infinity War, but in, in Avengers Endgame, um, I realized that, <clears throat> I realized that when you have all the Infinity Stones, when you snap your fingers, that doesn't just erase half the population. It, it actually just lets you do whatever you want to do, and then when you snap your fingers, it does it. But yeah, so did I already say that I thought the CGI was very good? I feel like I did, but even if I even if I did, I'll say it again. I thought the CGI was really good. And yeah. And also another another thing I did like is that it was like all of the armies fighting Thanos Thanos' army. And it was it was pretty cool, like the children of Thanos and Thanos' army versus like Wakanda and everyone else. And having Ant Man was basically like having Godzilla. <laughs> but anyway, um yeah, I so I thought this movie was was really good and um I've said all I basically needed to say and yeah, I guess I can conclude the review now. So I thought this was very good movie and I give it 
a 9.5 out of 10.